Lisa with Luna Moth Creations and I am back and I have my Tamed Wild, hopefully I didn't just break something, my Tamed Wild for, I believe this is for November 2021, I think they mail theirs like late in the month, um, it actually took a little longer to get to me, it went to my boyfriend's house and then they forwarded it to my house and so I just actually got it today. Um, so hello and welcome. If you guys are new to my channel, I like to do witchy subscription unboxings as well as one self-care subscription box and tarot and oracle deck unboxings and reviews and I have a couple tarot decks that I'm going to do after this. So, and if you guys um, do follow me, you know that I've been preparing for a test for work. I am a registered nurse, I'm a stroke nurse, and I, um, for my job, I have to be stroke um, certified, and I passed my test today. It's been like ugh, a stressful month for me, <laughs> moving, getting a new puppy, and studying for this test. And um, yeah, the the test was a disaster it, as far as like the testing center, like their internet went down, and then they couldn't get me back into the test, and then they finally. Anyways, it was a whole thing. I was there longer than expected, <laughs> but I got through it and I passed. Yay, me. All right, one more housekeeping item before I get started on this box, guys. Don't forget, I said that if I get 500 subscribers, I'm going to do another giveaway and I have lots and lots and lots of things to give. So if you wouldn't mind telling your friends and if you're watching me right now and you're not a current subscriber, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And again, thanks guys if you're already a subscriber. Okay, let's get in. If I can... They always make this like very tight. Okay. Doo -doo. All right, so we got some paperwork on top. It says Gaia's apothecary Ooh. okay I've got two things here it says Gaia the goddess of earth is a divine presence in all that we do on this planet in myth she is considered to be the mother of all and is known and called upon for her creative power and life-giving force her very name comes from the Greek word for land with each turn of the wheel got something smells good which with each turn of the wheel, we can feel the presence of Gaia. She herself crafts the seasons, reminding us each of our own cyclical nature. This ritual reminds us that we are one with nature and that our latitude and longitude lines flow through our bodies. Sometimes we forget these lessons or we feel detached from Gaia, goddess, and all that is. During those moments, all we must do is imagine our own roots going into the earth so that we can soar into our highest selves. Earth itself is a magical place because earth is Gaia's apothecary. When we are looking for Gaia, we find, excuse me, we can find her there amongst her shelves and apothecary bottles, her books and her tools. Gaia knows the secrets of each and every one of the beings on this planet. She is a true her herbologist. Listening to each tree, fungi, human, animal, and crystal. What is my dog eating? <laughs> He's got crinkle paper. Oh my god. Um, she is attuned with each of their stories and voices. To begin the ritual, first prepare your apothecary altar. To do this, add anything from around your home that carries meaning for you. A stone, rose petals, a candle, a feather, etc. Together on a table, shelf, on the floor, or on a mantle, this is the beginning of your altar. If you're looking for inspiration, you can build your altar to score to correspond to the elements in the four directions. For example, a feather can be symbolic of air in the east, a flame can be symbolic of fire in the south, a small bowl of water can be symbolic of water in the west, and a bit of rose petals can be symbolic of earth in the north. Next, leave an offering of a crystal, a note to Gaia, or something sacred to you. As you prepare your altar, rub a little bit of the... Okay, hold on. I think I'm getting into what's in this box. So let's start with that. So we've got... Rub a little bit of the Laloon essential oil. Is that what it is? I have a Laloon. It's tea tree essential oil. All right, 
um, rub a little bit of the Laloon essential oil into your wrist or another resident place on your body, third eye or temples. Let me just smell it. I mean, it's tea tree. <laughs> I know what it smells like, but still, I'm gonna smell it. And we'll go ahead and put it on my, my wrist for funsies. Hopefully I don't have an allergic reaction. I think I've had tea tree oil on my skin before. All right, place the herbal steam. All right, so we have herbal steam. It says traditional uses clearing sinus during cold, flu, and allergy season. It's got eucalyptus leaves, stinging nettle, peppermint, wintergreen, and essential oils. Place a tablespoon of herbs in a bowl and add boiling water. Place a towel over your head and bowl to create a tent. Breathe deeply for five to 10 minutes. Add, left, add leftover water and herb blend in bath. Mm. So I'm guessing these are just um, loose herbs in here. Mmm, so it's just a bunch of the loose herbs that they said. So very cool. So let's place the herbal steam and calendula tea tree, calendula salve and tea tree oil and the poultice split. There's so much, okay, hold on. Okay, I just, Told you everything we're getting. Okay, so we got the herbal steam. Then we have the calendula skin salve for cuts, scrapes, and burns. And this has calendula oil with olive oil, canola oil, sunflower oil, whole uh, calendula flowers, beeswax, tea tree, essential oil, and vitamin E oil. Here is the salve. I don't know why I always try to smell these things. Usually they don't smell like anything. And then we've got this Ancient Herbs Poultice Blend. Contains comfrey and arnica. Poultices are blends of healing herbs that can be crushed, moistened, and applied topically to wounds, aches, and pains. Also known as battlefield medicine, poultices are used in historical wars to treat soldiers on the battlefield. Do not apply it to broken skin. All right, so that's our poultice. And as you can see, there's herbs in there. So it says place the herbal steam, calendula salve, tea tree oil, and poultice blend on the altar to bless the herbs. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> um, where'd it go? On the altar to bless the herbs before using them as part of your apothecary. <gasps> oh God, sorry guys, I'm so tired. I've been doing so much lately. Finally, place your wild medicine bag on the altar to consecrate the bag as a magical tool. Here's my medicine bag. How cute is that? So I can put all my medis medicinal, medicinal tools in here. All this can go in here because it's got a little medical cross there. All right. When the altar is finished, sit and stand in front of your newly created sacred space and give thanks to Gaia. Imagine Gaia's grand apothecary, the hills, the valleys, the forecast, and the deserts, the hearth, the home, and all the belongings, excuse me, all the beings that share plant earth with you. Plant earth. Maybe she meant planet earth. Think about all that Gaia has blessed you with in your own magical journey while imagining Gaia herself present with you at the altar and call up, call on your plant allies, the plants that have guided you throughout your life. And say these words, oh my God, I'm sorry I keep yelling. Gaia, thank you for all you have shared. This earth, our home, for which I care. Gratitude, your bounty, this is true. My thanks I offer up to you. When the incantation is finished, take a moment to feel the blessings wash over you and to all the beings who are open to receiving them. Then you may remove your wild medicine bag from the altar as it's been consecrated as a magical tool on your altar. As you walk through Gaia's apothecary as a green witch, use this bag to hold your sacred plant medicines and herbal allies with which you, you have gathered with intention and goodwill. All right, and then 
Um, they talk about each item here. I guess I should have read this um, with each item. All right, so the herbal steam, it says, are used in many healing traditions. This herbal steam has the powers to soothe your sinuses and gently care for your skin through the cold winter months. Our house blended eucalyptus combined with nettle and peppermint leaves are designed to help clear your head. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> clear your head. While wintergreen essential oil is known to aid in clarifying as well soothing inflamed sinuses, combine the herbal steam with steaming water, place a towel or textile over your head and allow steam to gently rise, soothe and support you. And then, I feel like I already read all this. All right, we kind of read that. Let's read about the tea tree. Connect with the magic of the moon with the Laloon Rising Essential Oil. Tea tree has a history in magic and ritual as a protective and cleansing oil. It can be used to unblock energy centers to encourage strength and fortification and for purification. Apply to your wrists, gently on your third eye and any other potent parts of your body that needs a bit of cleansing and strength. This is a perfect herbal tool to keep on hand in your apothecary. Fucking seriously, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and then we've got our calendula salve. And it says our tamed wild calendula salve connects with the power of this sunny plant. Calendula is beloved as a topical herb. It is known traditionally as supportive for healing injuries, burns, bruises, and dry skin, to name a few. Oh God, I've got dry skin. Like the blossoms of calendula, its petals can offer us the generous brightness of blessed days. Keep calendula, calendula in your pocket when you're trying to stay on the sunny side of life and allow its energy to move stagnated flow. Lore has it that if you cast a handful of calendula across your bed, you would be safe and protected. It was also said that calendula would offer prophetic dreams. And then we have our wild medicine bag. And it says every green witch needs a trusted bag to which in which to store their tools, medicines, plant magic, and sacred items. <sighs> this wild medicine bag is just that. After consecrating the bag in ritual work, work with it to conduct your green magic wherever you go. Okay guys, I'm so sorry <laughs> that I keep yawning. I'm so exhausted. But I wanted to do this box. Whether or not that was a good idea, I don't know. You guys tell me. Okay, what do you think of this box? Um, I'm really excited that they gave me some things for like, like the winter, like, you know that, um, I'm gonna have some sinus issues, so I'm excited about this steam, this herbal steam. I'm definitely gonna be using this. Um, so that is it, guys. Thanks for hanging in there with me. I will be back as soon as I stop yawning. <sighs> I think I'm just on a roll here. Um, and I'm going to be doing some tarot deck unboxings. And again, if you guys are not a current subscriber, hopefully you'll hang with me. I don't always yawn throughout my videos. <laughs> I would love if you'd hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And until next time, guys, have a great day. Bye.